Okay guys, so I've started off with a blank canvas. So I'm first of all going to prime my lids to get rid of any veins or redness or unwanted pigmentation on my lids. So I'm going to go in with my MAC paint pot in the shade Soft Ochre and apply that from lid to brow bone. Next on a 221 fluffy brush from Zoeva, I'm going to grab these two soft brown shades from my Morphe palette and place that through the crease as a transition colour. Then taking this olivey greeny brown shade from my Morphe palette and mixing it with Berry Mousse from my Deuce palette from Juvia's Place, I'm going to softly blend that just below the transition colour to give a bit more of a greeny blend into the eye look. And then going back in with some of those soft brown shades, I'm diffusing the edges of those olive green shadows. Next, grabbing these two brown shades um, from my Morphe palette and placing those through the outer crease area. Then softly diffusing the edges with some of the olive green shades that we used before. And then again in with that soft brown shade from the beginning. Next, on a pencil brush, I'm taking chocolate from my Juvia's Place Deuce palette and placing this on the very outer portion of my eye. And I'm just stippling it on and then blending the edges with the previous shades and then blending those edges with the previous couple shades. Next we're going to cut my crease with some concealer. I'm just going to do the inner half of my eye so I'm doing like a half cut crease. And then diffusing the edges with my finger. So it softly blends into the browns. Then I'm taking Epic from Makeup Geek and placing this all over the cut crease area. I'm just kind of softly blending it into where the brown meets the cut crease. Don't mind the messiness of it now guys, we'll fix it up soon. Taking chocolate again on the pencil brush, I'm going to try and melt that into Epic. Then taking those two deep brown shades from my Morphe palette, I'm going to blend the outer portions of chocolate. And then with the olive green shades, I'm just using those to soften the edges. Then going back in with Epic again and just melting it into the brown and the brown again just kind of helping those two blend into one another a bit more seamlessly kind of like this next for the glitter part of the cut crease I'm taking my photo ready eye art glitter liner from Revlon in the shade Topaz Twinkle and I'm placing this right where the green kind of meets the crease and tapering it out towards where the brown meets the green and your little cut crease should look something like this for my inner corners I'm taking my NYX Jumbo Pencil and Milk and applying that down as a base and just kind of softening it with my finger then taking my Sugar Rush pigment from Makeup Geek I'm applying this directly onto my inner corners and just softening that with my fluffy brush. For liquid liner, I'm taking my Milani Infinite Liquid Liner in the shade Everlast and applying that on with an accent brush for more precision. To tight line, I'm grabbing my Makeup Geek Full Spectrum Eyeliner Pencil in the shade Obsidian and placing this on my tight line just to disguise where my lash line is so it melts into the eyeliner a bit more smoother and then I'm just applying on a couple of coats of mascara for lashes I'm taking my attitude lashes in the style fairy and just popping these babies right on and I'm just going back in with some mascara to glue my natural lashes and my falsies together voila for my bottom waterline I'm going to take my Makeup Geek Full Spectrum Eyeliner Pencil in the shade Espresso to 
give a bit more of a brownie tone to tie in with the top of the lid rather than just having a stark black sitting there. And bringing it slightly under the lashes as well. Then grabbing chocolate on her pencil brush and placing that over the brown eye coal on, under the lash line. Then grabbing those two brown shades from my Morphe palette, I'm just blending out chocolate with those. Then taking that um, olive green shade from both the palettes, I'm going to blend out the browns to bring some of that olivey green back in on the one lash line. And with each time I blend out, I'm hugging the under eye to create kind of like an eye bag look. I really love that look lately. And then the transition shades to blend everything else together. Next for my brow bone, I'm taking Shimmer Shimmer and Ice Queen. And finally it's time for some bottom lash mascara. And you want to coat these nice and thick because the bottom lash line is so smoky. And this here guys is the finished eye look. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's makeup look and got a few tips and tricks out of it. It's super glam so I hope you guys did enjoy this look but it's not too complicated so any of you guys can achieve this. Otherwise guys I'll see you in my next video. Have an amazing day and amazing week and I'll see you soon. Mwah. Bye.